The Kansas City Chiefs, one of their biggest questions going into this season is who is going to step up at wide receiver. Now you have Marquez Valdez-Scantling coming back. He was third on your team in receiving yards last year, and he's a really good deep threat. So his spot is pretty solidified, but you lost Juju Smith-Schuster, who was really productive in the slot for you. So who's going to replace him and step up? So we're going to be discussing... Which wide receiver will step up for the Kansas City Chiefs this upcoming season? Now, they have a lot of talent in the receiving room. So let's not make it seem like the Kansas City Chiefs are just in dire need of a wide receiver. Because they have talent in this receiver room. They just don't know who are going to be the guys to be the most consistent and who's going to give them the most production this year now I really am a big fan of Kadarius Tony and I was a big fan of him coming out of Florida a couple of years ago and you got to remember that the only problem with Kadarius Tony is that you don't know how healthy he's going to be able to stay throughout the 17 game regular season but when he was on the field and healthy for the New York Giants he was that dude he was him you got to remember that he broke the New York Jets single game receiving yardage record for a rookie wideout. And he is really electric after the catch. I mean, this dude is the definition of a human joystick. He's like a ping pong ball. He can change directions. He can kind of be a little bit underrated when it comes to being able to break out the tackles. He's not just all speed and elusive. Like he also is a little bit stronger than what you may think. And I think he's a pretty solid route runner. So Kadarius Tony is a serious breakout candidate for the Kansas City Chiefs at wide receiver this year. You got Sky Moore. I still think that Sky Moore has a little bit more work to do. He did a pretty solid job throughout his rookie season. He was really good after the catch for Kansas City. But my thing is, I don't really think he creates a lot of separation on his routes I feel like when he gets severely open it's due to him being schemed open but I'm not sleeping on Sky Moore you feel me like I do think that Sky Moore could end up having a really solid season but I think that in terms of higher upside between Kadarius Tony and Sky Moore I gotta go Kadarius Tony now you sign Richie James in free agency now this was a little bit of an underrated signing and I'm going to tell you why. If you watched the New York Giants last year, Richie James was probably their most talented receiver last season. Honestly, in my opinion. I think that he's a really solid route runner. I also think that, you know, the New York Giants in some situations, you know, kind of could have did a little bit more with him. And... I also like the fact that he's going to Kansas City with Andy Reid. He's going to find a way to get Richie James involved because last season for the Giants, he was pretty productive. Four touchdowns, 57 receptions, 569 receiving yards. He was averaging 10 yards per catch. And with a quarterback like Patrick Mahomes, I feel like he's going to be able to get the most out of a Richie James. So I think Richie James is pretty talented. And I think he's more talented than Sky Moore, in my opinion. So we're going to see how that ends up playing out throughout training camp and into the regular season. I think Richie James was a really sneaky signing by Kansas City. Justin Ross. Haven't really been hearing a lot of Justin Ross hype this offseason. The hype for Justin Ross was real when he ended up signing as an undrafted free agent. This was somebody who a couple of years ago was expected to be a first-round pick. He has first-round talent, but he went undrafted due to medical concerns. So, last season, he was doing pretty well, OTAs, and then he ended up having to miss out on the regular season last year. He had an injury that pretty much sidelined him all last year. So, this is really going to be his first truly healthy season when he's going to be able to show what he can do on the field. And I think he not only is going to make the roster, but he potentially could be a wide receiver three or four in this offense. He probably could be right behind MVS because I think that Justin Ross is a really good deep threat. 
really athletic, good body control. Rasheed Rice, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Kansas City drafted him in this past year's NFL draft. Like Justin Ross, big body wide receiver. I think that he could end up being a really good deep threat for Kansas City as well. And he is pretty talented. I'm eager to see what, what happens with Rasheed Rice, honestly. This was somebody who was a little bit underrated coming out of SMU, even though I felt like he was a little bit overvalued by the mock draft community. I still do think that there is a lot of upside with Rasheed Rice. So I am keeping my eyes on him, but I am a little bit biased towards Justin Ross just because of what he's had to overcome. So I am rooting for him, but I do think that Richie James was a really underrated pickup. Really underrated pickup. He was the New York Giants best receiver last year. So I'm going to go with Kadarius Toney and Richie James to be the guys who step up at wide receiver for Kansas City this year. Richie James was a really sneaky good pickup for them, and I don't think they're paying him all too much. Sky Moore, I'm not low on him. It's just that I think Richie James and Kadarius Toney are a little bit more talented. And maybe we could see Justin Ross step up.